Hey everybody, this is Dax, you are you, grace is grace, and the world turns. So I really enjoy watching interviews of artists. I've watched hundreds, I guess, over the years, and I think it really gives me an insight into their personality and maybe then their artistry, whatever that is, painting, music, making movies, etc. Um, and so I'm going to watch this one on Grace in this pop quiz. As you know, I watched the one creating a song, and that was really insightful into how her man what her mannerisms are when she's in deep thought and communicating with her audience. That was really enjoyable. And um, this one I thought, I, I just did a reaction to I Can't Help Falling in Love with You, and I said that I thought this was a couple of years ago. Well, it turns out it was November 7th of last year just three and a half months ago, two months before she turned 16. So obviously she's about three years more mature in this than she was when she did the back porch, I Can't Help Falling in Love with You, when she was so dang cute. So she's going to be a lot more together in this one. So it'll be really interesting to watch. And I'm going to watch a lot of interviews of Grace to try to get more insights into her character, which I find, frankly, fascinating. I think she's the most fascinating artist alive today in the sense that she's she's that mix of both candid and yet uh, artistic and mostly optimistic but delving into the deep side but mostly in sort of a let's get this out I've got to find myself way which is so honest so I find her frankly more fascinating than any of the adult singers out there right now um, one reason I like watching interviews is because of that insight that I get. I've watched them on perhaps a hundred singers, including like John Lennon. I watched so many interviews with him, and he came across, unfortunately, not very well. He came across as sort of jaded and bitter, and that sort of gave me an insight into some of his lyrics that he wrote for the Beatles, those edgy lyrics like Norwegian Wood and others, sort of cynical. Um, now, obviously, that's not his own only side, but that's how he came across. Of course, that was after the Beatles breakup. So, but the other Beatles didn't come across quite that way. George Harrison a little bit, but anyway. So I've watched him with, um, gosh, uh, David Gilmour, who talked about how he how he does his guitar work. Fascinating. So the thing I, I find interesting about that is that insight that you get. So anyway, this is only eight minutes. So I thought we'd watch the entire eight minutes and. I watched a few seconds of this just to see if it was what I wanted, and it looks like it just starts right off with a questioning. I was kind of hoping, hoping they would sort of greet each other and then have a little banter and then sit down, but it's gonna, it looks like it goes right into the questions by Zoe Deschanel. Deschanel? I don't know how to pronounce her name. So anyway, here we go. Okay, when Jess and Cece run into Jess's ex-boyfriend, Genslinger, they find out his new job is as a magician. Cute. No, he's a clown. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even study this, y'all. Hi, I'm Zoe Deschanel. I'm here at the El Rey Theater, crashing Grace Vanderwall's sound check. I hear she's the world's biggest New Girl fan, and I'm gonna put that knowledge to the test. So there is an intro. That's good. <laughs> oh, don't Hi. run. Don't it's run. It's so nice to Be meet careful. you. Hi. Oh. Oh, nice to meet you. So cute. Thank you. Is this your stage outfit? I love no. it. No. Oh, this is just your clothes? Yeah. So cute. Hi, this is my mom. Oh. This is hi. my Julia. Oh, it, oh my hi. Hi, love. So oh, we're yeah. here. We have some props yes. that we use on New Girl. I we have some knitting, the real glasses. Do you want to put them oh on? Oh my God, yes. Yes, okay. We've got the sparkly hat. Do you want to put this on too? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> of course. <sighs> okay. You look great. Thank I love you. it. Okay. okay. Our categories today, Grace, okay. are true or false, Okay. general trivia, and yeah. quotes. Okay. okay. So ready. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Round so one, nervous. true or false. Coach played basketball with Winston in college. Two. You're right. <laughs> hey, you're just crushing it already. Yay. Okay. 
This what one's really you? tricky, you guys. This one's a trick question, I'm gonna okay. say. Okay, okay, thank you Jess for Jess breaks up with Robbie because they are second cousins. False. You're correct. They are third cousins. <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> the dating app Schmidt says Jess can't handle is called Dice. Glock. You oh. are correct. <laughs> The councilwoman's name Schmidt dates in season four is Elizabeth. False. You are that correct. That was his other girlfriend. Yes. I loved Elizabeth though. Oh, I know I love Elizabeth She didn't too. deserve him. She, she deserved better. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. The councilwoman's name was Fawn Moscato. Oh yeah. yeah. And I am Fawn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> okay, Winston interrupts Cece's wedding by playing the song Cha-cha slide. No. The, what's that one? This one. Yep. Cotton what's Eye Joe. Yeah. No, 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 I know what you meant. I, I'm going to say you got it totally <laughs> okay. right. You're just really doing great, Chris. Okay. Wait, these are fake, I just realized. Yeah, they do. I mean, they, they have gloss in them, but it's not, they're not. You wear these? They're, 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 they don't have prescription in them. Do you need glasses? I wear contact lenses now. I always so. watch the show and I was like, 100% those are real glasses. All right, you finished round one. Woo. Okay. And oh you did God. amazing. I just love how she interviews. So let's see how you do on general trivia. All right. Who does Jess dress up as for Nick's dad's funeral? Oh, oh, Elvis. Yes, good, yeah, good. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. When Cece is too hungover to model, Jess steps in to help with what campaign event? The Honda car event. Very close. Ford car. car oh, oh, same thing. <laughs> They're both car, car yeah. brands. Okay. What bathroom item do Nick and Schmidt unknowingly share? A toothbrush? Ooh, yuck, but no. <laughs> a towel? Yes. A oh, towel. I think I remember that, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I'm really, really, okay. What is Schmidt's real first name? Oh my god. I don't know. The answer is Winston. What? Yeah, Winston Schmidt. <laughs> That's his real first name. Um, after almost being hit by a car, Jess and Cece are invited to which famous musician's party? Prince, Prince, yes, Prince, yes. Prince. My mom Correct. loves that episode. It's a good episode. <laughs> oh, so good. How does Nick leave a room when he's uncomfortable? The moonwalk. Yes, yep, 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 you know it, okay. I love that. I've used that before. What movie does Jess love to watch when she's sad or heartbroken? Uh, Dirty Dancing? Yes, yeah. good, great. <laughs> great. Yeah, We're done with general stuff. trivia, you did amazing. Yes! Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Here we are in our final round. Final round, pressure's on, okay. let's go. Okay, pressure's on. Yeah, I'm gonna read a quote, okay. and you're gonna tell me who you think said this quote, okay? Okay, okay. I like the hairnails nails Quotes. about your shirt. Oh, thank you, they're actually yeah, That's so nice. Way. Thank you. Okay, I've got two perfectly good forks at the end of my arms. Nick, obviously. Yes, okay. <laughs> Puppy in a cup. You, obviously. Me, yes. <laughs> I've been banned for my lifetime from Lake Ontario. Don't ask. Schmidt? No. Ooh. Me. You? That's why I should remember it, but I don't. <laughs> okay. Are you cooking a frittata in a saucepan? Schmidt. What is Schmidt. this? Schmidt. 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 <laughs> you have the right to remain hugged. Winston? Coach. Coach. What? I didn't realize Coach was so lovable until just yeah, now. Yeah, he's really lovable. Yeah. Yeah. If I were off my rocker, would I take a weekly selfie with my cat? Winston? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm only attracted to guys who are afraid of success you? and think someone famous stole their <laughs> idea. Yes. I feel like I can tell because like you go into your character, like the way you talk, yeah. I feel like I'm watching yeah. jazz. A bank is just a paper bag, but with fancier Nick. walls. <laughs> yeah. That's such a good You're quote. really good at this. I'm trying my You're best. You're really, really good at this. Okay. <laughs> Please take that thing off. You look like a homeless pencil. Schmidt? You did it! <laughs> okay, you did so well. I think you are the world's expert on New Girl. Really? And for that, I have a prize for you. Okay. <laughs> prize. <gasps> oh my god! The feeling stick and travel size. <laughs> 
Do you oh, have feelings you want to share? Oh my god. I feel I'm gonna take one. so overwhelmed, but I never knew that it said feeling stick yeah. right here. I'm feeling so happy to meet you and <laughs> talk to you and get to know you a little bit. You're Thank such a you. lovely young lady. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I feel like that was so nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, girl. What you doing? Hey, girl. really love that <clears throat> how <clears throat> excuse me just how frank and open grace's personality is and how she stays in the moment like a lot of people who are being interviewed a lot of artists that i've seen don't interact so much they just answer questions but grace is like oh i just love your glasses oh so they're they're not real glasses that you wore. I thought they were real glasses. And it kind of threw Zoe off a little bit. You know, it was like Zoe didn't even really want to answer the question at first. Oh, well, I have contacts. You know, yeah, you're wearing fake glasses. <laughs> and Grace caught you on that because Grace is so aware anyway. Um, I mean, not in a bad way or anything. And then complimenting her on her nails in the middle, middle of the interview. You know, Grace is like, I'm here for the experience, not just to be, you know, in a pop quiz. And I love how she does that. I love how she brings things back around to her feelings. And um, <clears throat> then noticing that uh, Zoe gets into character when she gives a quote that's her quote. And Grace, not just noticing that, but mentioning it, you know, it's very interesting that she stay, stays in the moment and then expresses her viewpoint because she's so confident. But she was just so, so lovely. I love, did you see those green boots she was wearing? Goodness gracious, man, those were, those were cool. But I just, I like the thing that I got from her personality on this was just how she can be at once candid and frank and just looking right at the person, you know, loving the person, but just really just completely mesmerizingly in the moment <clears throat> and still vulnerable, you know, and not ashamed to express her love for Zoe. I mean, just absolute love for Zoe. So um, as far as Zoe, I mean, she seems like an okay person. You know, I, I don't really know who she is. I, I And this um, new girl, I, I, I know nothing about it. So all of this stuff was missing on me, which was good in a way because it allowed me just to watch the reactions of Grace and Zoe without having to worry about whether I knew <clears throat> this information or not. <clears throat> but I, I just, again, love just how lovely uh, Grace's spirit is and how it stays that way all of the time. Even though she was a tiny bit nervous on this, I think she was wanting to get every question right because she's an avid fan. She almost did. Um, I love that little comment about her mom saying that was, that's my mom's favorite episode. You know, again, Grace expressing herself instead of just answering questions. So that gave this, that, that made this interview even more interesting to me. And it makes Grace more interesting. So just loved it. I want to do a lot more like this where Grace is doing interviews, not necessarily pop quizzes, but just interviews. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, let me know what you think and I'll catch you on the backside. Take care of yourselves. Bye now.